I've tested all the latest releases of 2022 from every major brand, and there is one product that is massively overlooked. And that product, without any doubt, is my favourite golf club of the year so far. You see, in recent years, the restrictions placed upon club manufacturers have mean we've seen minimal advancements in most golf club technology. And what that has meant is that manufacturers now have to pay a little bit more attention to the less glamorous clubs in the bag. So what I mean by that is there is always major excitement about the release of drivers, but we all know with the restrictions in place that we just aren't gonna see any major yardage gains with clubs like these anymore. And whilst I think iron technology has improved massively over the years, I think there's one area that is constantly overlooked, but not this year. You see, for me, arguably, the easiest club in the bag to use, that aside from a putter, well, that's a hybrid. And it's also the most versatile club in most average golfer's bag. And this year, get in, I think they've gone absolutely all out in terms of improving hybrid fairwood technology. But there's one club that really stands out. Now, going back to my first statements, there is one hybrid that has outperformed in 2022 any other hybrid that I've ever tested. That hybrid is from TaylorMade and it's the Stealth model and trust me, it's not a club that you should be ignoring in 2022. Now every average golfer needs a go-to club in the bag and uh, the hybrid again is just perfect for that. Typical scenario, a tight par four that we've got here at Carden Park, 320 yards off the tee. It's not long, but it's extremely narrow and tight. And what I need to do is find a fairway. So reaching for a hybrid as opposed to perhaps a long iron option, and it's certainly not driver off this tee, is ideal. And I want confidence in that club. Now, I'm a big advocate of hybrids in general. They should be in more average golfers' bags. But this Stealth just does things particularly well. And like I said, I'm confident that this thing can get me a couple of hundred yards down the fairway, down through that tight gap. And I've got a number of options in terms of how I want to hit that shot. And that is literally straight down the middle, hasn't moved off the center of the fairway, and that'll leave just a bit of a flick with a wedge. So like I said, hybrids in general, massive thumbs up from me, as you know on this channel, but the Stealth just does it so, so good. Okay, so why is this club so good and why should you not be ignoring it? Well, there are two reasons. And the first one being about the versatility of this club. So in terms of versatility, what I mean by that is that uh, I can hit this kind of shot, which is basically me going all out for distance. Always gonna be a bit of a right to left shot. Or it's got that option to just take a bit off. It's a bit of a high cut when you're looking for something to land that bit softer. And just the ability to do that, take a good sort of 15, 20 yards off the club's distance, change the peak height, change the launch conditions. Versatility is incredible, but there's one other important factor in terms of versatility. And for that, we need to go back out on the course. Versatility is a major keyword when it comes to this golf club, as you've just seen in terms of shape of shot, but also in terms of how it can be used out on the golf course. Typical scenario of where I've left myself an awkward little yardage into this flag, and to choose the hybrid to just use a little bit of loft to pick it up off the tight lie, but to get it running along the flat surface as soon as possible in an almost like a put in motion. And you can see from the end result, it was a good option and perhaps I wouldn't have got anywhere near that trying to choose a wedge. And the second one is just the all out performance of it. So in terms of performance, this thing is unreal. I've never hit a club that I can comfortably carry that sort of 205 to maybe even 215 at the tip of what this thing will do. And don't forget there's a four hybrid at 22 degrees. The reason I've chose that, it just fits in my bag. Absolutely perfect, covers a perfect yardage. I'm gonna throw up a set of numbers now. I've got hundreds of balls that I've hit here this morning and multiple that I could show you. But this kind of 208 carry, 13.9 launch, 132 ball speed, would you believe? 3.2 spin, height of 83, a land angle of 38.6. This is doing exactly what you want it to do in terms of still being able to play into tight par fours, into long par threes, 
or into a sort of second shot into a par five. So performance wise, it ticks every box in terms of that performance data. Right, we'll keep this summary short and sweet because I've already explained every reason as to why I think this is a star product of 2022. I just want to reiterate the point that I think hybrids should be in more average golfers' bags. That's the first thing to mention because of everything, their versatility and the performance. But the Stealth Hybrid is something that is very, very special in my opinion. It performs incredibly well in terms of dry ball data. It performs really well out here on the course. And in terms of one of the key factors why people don't like a hybrid is its ability to just turn them over just this, uh, a tad and that can be very off-putting with that closed face that doesn't happen with this club at all and i found it very neutral at address and certainly in its ball flight it's very much been a club that i've had to work to turn over from right to left as well so another positive to throw in so overall i don't think there's any way you can pick fault with this stealth hybrid from taylor made but whichever way you go it doesn't really matter the important thing is that more average golfers are encouraged to try and test hybrids in replacement for those longer irons and get that gap in at the longer end of the bag a little bit better and a little bit more playable for our mere mortals as average golfers out there right as ever thanks for watching i'm going to finish off the last two holes here at carden park it's been a wonderful afternoon and i'll see you all soon